Let me guess, you just got accepted to the MCDM and while you're really proud of that, you're also kind of freaking out a little bit. Don't worry, I was there too. In fact, when I got accepted, I'd been out of undergrad for 20 years. And what that means is we were still typing on IBM Selectrix and the computer was a mainframe that lived in a room of its own. My, how things have changed. Now, it seems it's impossible to be anywhere without a computing device of some sort within reach. And what this all means and how it's impacting our world, society, business, and culture is the cornerstone of the MCDM program, studying that. But it's impossible to study that unless you're actually using some of these new technologies and programs. And in order to get through that, I bet you'd benefit from a few survival tips, wouldn't you? Stick with me, I'm going to give you some. First, let's say you're a working professional, yet you've managed to get this far without tweeting, blogging, giving a presentation, making a video, making a website. Don't worry, you're in, you'll be in good company. Many of us have suffered the same fate. It'll seem painful at first, but the confidence you get from the experience will be well worth it. Trust me on this one. It's going to feel like it, but let me remind you, school is not work. This is your opportunity to push yourself into new areas and to learn and to explore and to ask lots of questions. And sure, you're going to have assignments where you're going to have to come up with answers, but unlike work, you're not going to have to come up with the answer. So release yourself of that concern and just get in there and have fun. Really, it's about asking the questions and pushing yourself into new areas. Third, don't panic. MCDM projects are notoriously wide open. Let me give you a few examples. Do a video four to five minutes on anything. Anything. Final project, study the evolution of any technology. Any technology. Come up with some, come up with an argument. Come up with a five page argument on anything. So while at first the inclination is to panic, it's actually really fun. So just pause, get into it, and have fun. Fourth, which kind of relates to third, how can I have fun when I don't even know where to start? This is where it gets really interesting. You can rely on the very medium that you're studying for inspiration. Poke around on YouTube, poke around on Twitter, poke around on the web, poke around on Facebook, poke, 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 look, 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 you will find inspiration. That's what I did and it never let me down. Fifth and finally, set limits for yourself. Honestly, again, it's not work, it's school, it'll feel like work and you want to commit, but really, do your best, give yourself an amount of time. Understand you probably won't see your spouse and your friends for a long time. It'll be worth it and you're gonna get so much more entertaining at parties and functions that you'll, you'll be happy that you did it. But do set limits for yourself. And in the end, all I can say is it is an amazing experience. Keep it simple, keep it fun, don't lose your perspective, get in there, challenge yourself, find new subjects, and just get engaged in them for 10 weeks, and you will be amazed at what you find when you come out. Thanks. Bye.